Hi everyone, this is Vikrant and in this video, we'll be setting up our next year's starter project. Our project would feature TypeScript, Husky, ESLint and Prettier. So let's get started. So for our project, we'll be making use of the examples on Next.js's GitHub project. So first you have to go to GitHub and search for Next.js and reach its official repository. Then if you look inside the folders, you'll find an examples folder over there. So this is basically where you can find all the uh, Next.js examples or you can even call them starter projects. These are all contributed by the community. So let's say you want a Chakra UI starter project. So you can just do control F or command F and search for Chakra. And uh, in the repository, you'll see that they've got two starter projects for Chakra UI, which is, uh, one of which is just JavaScript and uh, another one is using TypeScript. So you can just clone uh, these repositories and get started with. But for our own use case, we'll be uh, making use of the uh, with TypeScript, ESLint, Jest. So, so this is the repository that we'll be cloning. And uh, yeah, so uh, so before cloning, let's uh, have a look at its package.json to see what uh, all dependencies it has. So the dependencies are Next, React, and React DOM, just basic Next.js dependencies. Now let's look at the dev dependencies. So we've got TypeScript, we've got Prettier, and we've got Husky, ESLint. So all the good things are here. And then we, we've got some uh, types for React, JS, Node, etc. So let's clone this repository now. Let's go back. And if you look, if you have a look at the readme, in the readme, they've given us some commands to clone the repository. So for this tutorial series, we'll be using yarn, but you can also use npm or npx if you want. So I'll just clone uh, this much of this command because this part is basically the name of the project. So I'll clone this. Sorry, I mean, I'll copy this and I'll open my terminal. Now you can all you can uh, use a command prompt if you're on a Windows machine. But as you can see, I'm on a Mac, so I'll be using uh, my terminal. So I'll just paste that command over here and uh, I'll name my project portfolio next. Now we'll just wait for these dependencies to get downloaded. Okay, so the dependencies were downloaded. Now let's open our project in VS Code. So this is a project and uh, I'll just explain the structure in a second. But before that, let's let's just start a project by typing yarn dev. So this would basically run a project on localhost 3000. So let's open this. We've got a project set up. So this is with TypeScript and uh, Jest and Husky and everything. Now let's understand the folder structure. So one of the folders is a test folder. So this folder is basically used for writing tests using Jest. And I don't think that we'll be writing any test for now. So let's just delete this folder. We can also delete jest.config.js because again, we'll not be writing any test, not, not for now at least. The next folder is the public folder. In this, we've got our favicon and the versal SVG. Then we've got the pages folder inside of which we've got our index.tsx file. So this is the uh, base. This is basically our homepage, the slash route, basically this page that you see. And then an interesting folder is the API folder inside the pages. So basically any file that you create inside the API folder. So that is basically uh, turned into a serverless function and you can use that in your uh, Next.js project. But more on this later. So we'll just uh, collapse this folder for now. Now let's move ahead and have a look at a package.json file. 
So over here we've got some handy scripts for starting a development server, for building, starting and a lot of other things. Then we've got Husky. So Husky is basically uh, you can say a JavaScript library that allows us to hook into the Git hooks. So using Husky, uh, we can uh, use the Git hooks very easily. Like before committing, so basically pre-commit, we can run some command. And even before pushing, and there are a lot of other uh, things that we can hook into. So, so after Husky, we've got lint, lint staged. So this is basically another library that allows us to use a combination of different commands on uh, specific files. Then we've got our dependencies, which are nothing but next react and react dom. And then the dev dependencies that we talked about earlier. We've also got a .ptrrc file. So this is basically the configuration file for ptr. Over here, we can define different rules for ptr. So these two are the default that this project comes with. And then we've got the ptr ignore file. This is basically the file where we define the files and folders that we want ptr to ignore. Uh, moving ahead, we've got .eslintrc.json ES file. Uh, now this is, uh, this is also a configuration file for eslint. Now you can go through this and if you have any doubts, please feel free to comment in the section below and I'll be really happy to help you out. Then we've also got the ESLint, uh, ESLint ignore file. This works very similarly to the .ptr ignore file. Okay, so now that we're done with all the major files that we have in this folder structure, let's go back to our homepage and clean it up a little. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just get rid of all the JSX that this component comes with. And I'll just create an empty div and maybe write hello world. We can also get rid of the imports and save the file. And this is what we have for now. So now our setup for the project is complete. But we do have a few libraries that we would like to install in a project like Tailwind. So we'll be looking at how to set up Tailwind in this project in the next video. So stay tuned. You can also find the GitHub link to this project in the description below. I will be making systematic commits after each video. So you can uh, have a look at the commit history and get unstuck. Also, if you guys have any questions or any doubts, feel free to use the comment section below or even reach out to me on Twitter. I am at Vikranbhat1022 at Twitter. So feel free to DM me, tag me or anything. I'd be really happy to help you out. All right, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.